You came to the right guy, Steve. <sighs> I love a good quest for revenge. I'm not out for revenge, Roger. I am a proud, lifelong good boy. Deny it all you want, but deep down you want to get back at AJ and you want to win that show. I admit, it'd be nice to see AJ get what he deserves. But singing was my talent. What, what else can I do? One word. Ventriloquy. Ventriloquism? Puppet talking. One word. In the 70s, I was half of the most popular ventriloquy act in the world. I was the puppet. I was kicked off match game for saying the word queef on air. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, just like you, my partner Dennis didn't know the first thing about ventriloquism. But it didn't matter, because I do all the work. Hmm. Almost sounds too good to be true. That's the spirit. But there is one thing I'm going to need from you. Total commitment. Deal. Good. Because this is perhaps my most challenging character, both physically and mentally. Even more than my mentally challenged bodybuilder character, Arnold Schwarzenegger. First, I have to apply several layers of this pungent lacquer face paint to really make it look like I'm made out of wood. Which is important, because almost all of my material is wood-based puns. Ugh! Smells worse than Principal Lewis's index finger. Then, yeah! painful prosthetics to give me fully flappable eyebrows and ears. And finally, I inject just a skosh of paralyzing agent into my arms and legs. Wow, you move just like a dummy. Now, Steve, why do you think I slapped you? It's because you used a certain word. Do you know what that word is? Is it? That's right. Never, ever call me a dummy. The word dummy is degrading. I am a manually articulated performative kinesio maquette named Dudley Dingleberry. <laughs>